You wake up in the morning, your phone won't stop buzzing, emergency alerts, sirens in the streets, people running. Then the headline flashes on the screen, a nuclear war has begun. Now what? Do you have any chance of surviving? Or would this be the end of humanity as we know it? Today we're going to find out what would really happen if a nuclear war started tomorrow. So leave a like and let's talk about it. A single nuclear bomb is enough to erase an entire city in seconds. And here's the terrifying part. Right now, there are over 12,000 nuclear warheads on Earth, spread across countries like the United States, Russia, China, France, the UK, India, Pakistan, and North Korea. If only a fraction of them were used, the world would be thrown into a nightmare beyond anything we've ever imagined. Massive explosions, waves of heat, radiation, and complete destruction, and that would only be the first impact. Let's say, tomorrow morning, 100 nuclear bombs went off in different parts of the world. The city's hit would be wiped off the map instantly. The fireballs, reaching millions of degrees at ground zero, would incinerate everything nearby. The shockwave would flatten buildings, bridges, and anything still standing. And for people who weren't killed instantly, radiation would be the next threat. Survivors near the blast zones would suffer severe burns, organ failure, and long-term risks like cancer, all from radiation exposure. But as horrifying as that sounds, it still wouldn't be the worst part. After the explosions, billions of tons of smoke, dust, and ash would be launched into the atmosphere. This blanket of particles would block sunlight for months, maybe even years. Scientists call it a nuclear winter. Temperatures would plummet, crops would die, animals would starve, and humanity would face famine on a global scale. Even a so-called limited nuclear war between just two countries could reduce global food production by up to 40%. Now imagine dozens of nations involved, collapse would be inevitable. Maybe you're thinking, okay, if I'm not in a target city, I might survive. But the truth is, even far from the blasts, life would never be the same. Water supplies would be radioactive. The air would be toxic with fallout. Medicine would run out and hospitals would be overwhelmed. The global economy would crash within days. In reality, survival would only mean delaying the inevitable. Civilization as we know it would be gone. This might sound like science fiction, but the world has already come dangerously close to this nightmare. During the Cold War and the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, the US and the Soviet Union came within minutes of pressing the red button. If that had happened, you probably wouldn't be watching this video right now. It was only thanks to last-minute decisions, sometimes made not by presidents but by lower-ranking officers, that a full-scale nuclear war was avoided. That's how close humanity has been, our fate resting in the hands of just a few people. If nuclear war started tomorrow, billions would die within hours. Billions more would struggle with hunger, disease, and freezing temperatures in the months that followed. And within a few short years, Earth could become nearly uninhabitable. But would humanity go extinct? Not entirely. Some scientists believe that small groups of people might survive in remote regions, far from targets, and with access to uncontaminated resources. But rebuilding civilization? That would be almost impossible. So what would happen if a new nuclear war started tomorrow? The answer is brutal but clear. Most of humanity would disappear, our cities would fall, the global economy would collapse, and the planet would plunge into nuclear winter. The few survivors left would live in desperate, harsh conditions, struggling to outlast a cold, dark, toxic Earth. In short, it would mean the collapse of civilization. But here's the one silver lining. If this scenario scares us, maybe that fear is what keeps it from ever happening. Because as long as those weapons exist, the choice is still in our hands. Tomorrow without nuclear war depends on today. And while it might feel impossible, remembering what's at stake could be the very reason that button never gets pushed. In the end, the real question isn't what would happen if a nuclear war started tomorrow, it's this. What are we doing today to make sure tomorrow never looks like that? Subscribe and see you next time.